Okay, this is going to be the first time I am using my Macaulay steam cleaner. I'm very excited to use it. This top you take off, and then this is where we're going to fill our water. It recommends to use distilled water. You do not have to. Um, I've heard some videos say you have to, but it just makes it less effective, I guess, if you kept doing that over time. But if you see this in the book, it tells you that if you are unable to get distilled water, that you can clean it yourself. You just make sure there's no steam left, and you remove all the water, and then you just let vinegar sit in there for 40 minutes and rinse it out because what you're doing is just getting rid of the mineral buildup. So don't be like me and think, oh gosh, I don't want to buy water. But I probably will buy some every now and then just so I'm not using it all the time. But, you know. All right, it says it holds 64 ounces and the cup is 16 ounces to that line. So I'm going to do it to probably the, the that 16 ounce line right there. Now, if you wanted to, you could get a pitcher like this and pre-measure the water and then just use that to pour it in with the spout. It does say to make sure your machine is unplugged and turned off, of course. If it's unplugged, it's going to be off. All right, let's pour. Ooh, it's supposed to be easy to not spill. I'm trying to record and do this at the same time. The first 16 ounces. Well, excuse you. Okay, this is the third 16 ounce cup. May not quite be all the way to 16 ounces, but that's all I'm probably gonna put in there for right now. Or maybe all the holds anyway. Okay. Okay, that's the mineral buildup. And the page 13 if you have your book. Okay, we already it says place blah 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 on a flat level surface. Make sure oh that's telling you how to turn it on. I mean how to fill it up. Da 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 da. Fill the unit with 64 ounces. Okay, remove the plastic cover off the electrical plug, which I hope that's obvious. Make sure your on on switch is pointed to on. And then we're going to wait until the needle is in the green section, and then I'll show y'all what that looks like. Oh, it does have this. Um, you may also hold the steam trigger, and then push the steam trigger lock to lock it down. This will allow a continuous flow of steam without needing to hold the button. Yay! Okay, now let's find the on button. Okay, it's going to light up, and then we're going to wait. It's 7.37, and I will let you know how long it takes to build pressure to the green. It also said to make sure, of course, that your water's in there and that you have the attachment that you plan on using already on there before you press the on button. I'm going to do the window first, so I went ahead and put the squeegee on. And they just snap into place like all the other ones. Okay, I was busy putting the dishes away from the dishwasher, and it's been 10 minutes. And, let's see, that is where the gauge is, so I heard that the first time you spray it or if you've let it sit, you might want to go over to the sink, so let's do that really quick. The trigger is right here, and to the right is less steam and to the left is more steam and apparently if you let it sit a while the water will kind of just sit in the thing so you always want to spray it if you've had it sit in a while so your um, whatever you're using doesn't get soaking wet all right let's put it all the way over <laughs> I've got a scare all right let's go oh goodness I think I put it on backwards didn't know. maybe not I don't know did I put it on backwards? I think I did. Okay, I changed it around. And they said it would be normal that if you spray, if the dial goes down. All right, don't mind the mess out there. That's the cat, cat's house. Um, can't really let's see if you can even see. There's a way to show you the dirt on a window. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There's a spot. Now you can kind of see. All right, now don't laugh at me because I've never done this before. I don't know if you put it. See how that water came out like that? Oh, good. I'm definitely going to have to cut this thing. I think I'm going to turn it the other way. Ah! Oh, and that's one thing I'm supposed to have too is a microfiber cloth to wipe down your area. All right, let's squeeze it and see what it does. I don't know, this is probably not how you're supposed to do this. But I've never done it before. I've watched videos, so. Okay. And you want a microfiber towel. So far, I don't see any spots on this side. Of course, the more steam you put, the more time it's going to take to dry. See if you can tell. I mean, I mean, you can't tell. I don't know if you can tell the difference. 
I can because I'm looking at it. So let's go on to something that you can actually see. And a lot of this is not dirt, it is actually cinnamon because I heard it kept bugs away. But as you can see, there's bugs on it. So let's go get something and clean this away. Actually, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to need a little, little one with the brush. So now I'm going to use this nozzle. And in order to use that, you have to put it on this one first. And it is made, so I can hold it against the wall and you see. It is made like that. And so is this. And then you just push it on and then you can, I believe you can turn this whichever way you want. I think I'm definitely going to have to use the scrub brush. And again, they all fit on this same head right here. But be careful while you are pulling and pulled it, putting them on that you don't accidentally mash the trigger. I didn't do that, but I thought of it. All right, let's see if this works. See how the water, I let it sit. It lit, comes out like that. I do have it on full steam. I probably should have blasted. That would be a good thing. So um, we're all learning here. Use the nozzle to spray everything off first that you can get off. And then use this on the other. All right, let's wipe it a quick second and see how it looks. And any marks you see is probably paint. Yeah, that's paint. Wowie. It's so pretty. And of course, the corners. Probably use a little nozzle for that. But that's a lot better. And the cord is pretty warm, just to let you know that. All right, let's do the baseboards next, or at least this piece. I'm going to show you a before. And make sure you have your rag. And I'm going to use this again. And it is going to make a mess. And there's the after. Before. After. All right, now we're going to go to the washer. I'm just trying it out on different things, y'all. I did have this thing came off while I was spraying, so apparently I didn't have it on all the way. And this does feel kind of warm, obviously. And I did turn it to the lowest pressure, but I'll show you. It didn't. See? It, it's more for, like, if you were steam drying, your, or not steam drying, if you were steaming your clothes or something. So let's turn it back to high. Yeah, this thing's hot. Even the handle's hot. Okay, let's work on the dryer. And you can, or you can steadily mash it. I may need less pressure for this. And remember, it's not sucking this up, so you're gonna have to wipe it up. It's pretty much just loosening it up. You're going to need the nozzle to get into the corners. See, there's some spots. And remember, I'm not trying to thoroughly clean everything this time. This is just me trying it out the first time and giving you my honest review and honestly how it felt to use it for the first time. It was a little um, weird at first to use it because you're just having to get used to it and which nozzles you need to use. So you're just going to have to be patient and experiment with it, but it does definitely work and it's definitely worth the money. It is so nice to be able to get this clean without having to spray any kind of chemical on it. Alright, I just wanted to show y'all this wall. I'm not sure. A lot of times my fingernail polish, I'll hit the wall and it'll do things like this. And I just wanted to see if this would get it off. So let's try. And of course the dirtiness around the light switches. I know I'm not going to let a lot of water go around that. I don't like the rag. 
Well, would that take like a few seconds? Oh, that's just a drywall. As you can see, I was definitely trying to find things to clean. <laughs> and it does clean very good. I will say, the longer you hold it there, it cleans better, depending on how tough the stain is. Wow. I know there's some stuff that probably could come off better, but just for a little quick clean, I say yes. All right, I do recommend if you are uh, doing anything that deals with food, make sure you separate your heads. I'm just doing a sink, so, and remember if the water sits in there, sometimes it will drip. So let's do a B4. Oh, and one thing you can do, I'm just excited to try this. Put it down in the sink, and then Come off the other side. Here it comes. It's deodorized. Okay, again before. All right, here's the after. I will say that the steam kind of makes it hard to tell where, where you need to clean more. And I did use the sprayer to, with the cold water to kind of rinse while I was cleaning. All right, here is my stove. I'm trying to show you. I don't have the microwave light. It's not working. All right, let's get at it. And as you can see, I don't have to move the machine all the way over here because the handle. Not the handle of the hose is plenty long enough. All right, let's go. Turn it down a little bit and see. And remember, you don't have to have it on the when the mess is not that bad. All right, let me. Man, it looks so good just to clean it for literally probably 10 seconds so it's definitely worth it okay I clean my bathroom sinks pretty regularly but as you can see back there apparently I don't clean it as good so let's try to get that really quick and here's the sink before shine just with water okay let's do some things on the tub here's the hard water here's just some stuff on the edge there's that around the ring we don't use this tub a whole lot Okay, I didn't get them all off. I could have kept going, but it's late, and I'm just trying to try this out for the first time and let y'all see. So you can see right there where it came off. And now for the best part, the toilet. I'll show you the before and the after. It looks great. They got home and wanted to try it out too. God bless y'all.